This is a Fox News alert. I'm Brett Baer in Washington. Another major setback tonight for President Obama's immigration reform agenda. A federal appeals court is refusing to lift a temporary hold on the president's plan to shield as many as 5 million illegal immigrants from deportation. Correspondent Shannon Breen is here with details. Good evening, Shannon. Hello, Brett. In a two to one decision this afternoon, the Fifth Circuit held that the administration cannot move forward with executive actions that would not only block millions who are in the U.S. illegally from being deported, but could also grant them access to things like driver's licenses and other government benefits. Late last year, President Obama announced a number of executive actions regarding immigration. Well, 26 states joined together to sue, and a federal judge blocked the measures just before they could take effect. The administration has been fighting to stay that ruling ever since. In today's opinion, refusing that stay, Judge Jerry Smith said the states challenging the executive action showed that allowing those actions to proceed would, quote, substantially injure them, adding, quote, a stay would enable beneficiaries to apply for driver's licenses and other benefits, and it would be difficult for the states to retract those benefits or recoup their costs even if they won on the merits. Though Texas Governor Republican Greg Abbott called the ruling a, quote, victory for the Constitution, a White House spokesperson said the judges misinterpreted both the facts and the law, adding this. The president's actions were designed to bring greater accountability to our broken immigration system, grow the economy, and keep our communities safe. They are squarely within the bounds of his authority, and they are the right thing to do for the country. It is unclear at this hour whether the administration will appeal today's ruling directly to the Supreme Court. If so, former DOJ official Tom Dupree says they're going to have an uphill battle. They're going to have to show the Supreme Court that this is sufficiently urgent, that it requires the Supreme Court to step in right now to ensure that this program goes into effect. And I don't see how they can make that showing, because what they're asking for is, in fact, a dramatic change to the status quo. A direct appeal for an emergency stay would go first to Justice Antonin Scalia simply based on geography he oversees the Fifth Circuit. He could decide alone or refer the matter to the entire Supreme Court. Meanwhile, the underlying case on the substance of the president's executive actions is also continuing.